Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another video for you today. It is Wednesday afternoon. We've had a very busy 24, 36 hours. I don't know, the past day and a half have been a kind of a blur we've been doing a lot of stuff yesterday was our 14th wedding anniversary and we took the kids to great wolf lodge for the night and then we went out and had a seven what was a seven courses <laughs> seven course dinner which I ate four. <laughs> <laughs> so i ate like 12. <laughs> uh, anyway guys we're gonna start pulling what sold for us today like i said we've been super busy so we haven't really been up here doing any kind of work and I don't know, I, I don't feel rested at all. <laughs> Do you feel rested? We've been... Uh... Rested, no. I, I feel like we had a really fun day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolute blast. Yeah. Definitely didn't want to wake up, get our kids to school, start working today. Right. For sure. That's yeah. what always happens when we, we do slept in stuff. So. Today, which Anyways, felt good. Yeah, we took the kids to school, <laughs> went back to sleep for an hour or two. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's... I mean, it's not... It's still fairly early. It's like one something, but... Mm -hmm. That's so yeah. early. <laughs> so I'm going to get shipping done and then at least try to photograph these shoes that I've been putting off. Yeah. But yeah, nothing has changed up here since the last time you guys right. saw a video. So I haven't yeah. been photographed or listed in a single thing. But yeah, but we had fun. That's all that matters. <laughs> I mean, the seven course dinner, I chose the place, even though I knew. So it wasn't like... You didn't know what you were getting. Right. It, it was, was like, like the chef's, yeah, chef's picking or yeah. a special. <laughs> so I took a chance based on reviews that other people left that it was really good. And it, yeah. everything I did like was really good. I just don't like You like, probably would have liked the stuff. things if you would have. Because it was yeah. like, there was like a raw fish and yeah, like, like mussels and stuff. <laughs> Kathy so. is not adventurous. <laughs> but I do like <laughs> so. trying out like those kind of fancy dinners. Yeah. On our anniversary. So anyhow. The whole place we went was cool though. So yeah. If you're ever in Colorado Springs, we'll tell you that location in general. Like it was, the restaurant we went to was like in this kind of, I don't even know what you would call it. Like there was it's, a lot of yeah. bars and I don't know. It was like a community like restaurant a compound. almost. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was interesting. I, we'd never been down there. Actually, it used to be something else, I think. And now mm -hmm. it's just like one big old building where they all share it. And so yeah. I like to go down there for more date nights. Not for seven course dinner, just for <laughs> <laughs> a burger and a beer or something. Yeah. But yeah. All Had right. A good time though. Good Some time. Some stuff that we sold though was another Colorado mug. This one sold for twenty four seventy six plus shipping, and I had nothing into it because I used my Starbucks points to buy it. Yeah. Those the mugs I always ship out in these little USPS square boxes. Although. I don't know if we have any down here, do you know? Mm, we should have some in the closet if we yeah. don't. So just like the actual, this might be it. Yep, yeah. square. So lots of bubble wrap, packing paper, and a square. I actually just got more points, I think, yesterday. And I was like, oh, well, this hasn't sold yet. So I'll just buy myself. I got a little water bottle, mermaid water bottle. Mm -hmm. But now this sold just now, like literally like a few minutes ago. <laughs> so I'm like, dang, I should have used my points for another color. Right. Mug. <laughs> They've been selling well. All right. B.O. I was going to pack this up, but I was like, I'll just show you anyways. Um, I've been packing up our kids stuff like that. It's just a pair of jogger pants. Yeah, on the table just there. Just not showing like every single sale. This was also my son's, but I wanted to show this because... If you ever find anything like this, it's going to sell really well. Mm -hmm. uh, Minnie Bowden Swim and Hannah Anderson Swim sells really good. So, yeah, this was my son's, but it sold for $35 plus shipping. It's just a swimming outfit, I guess. Shirt and shorts. Yeah, yeah it's like a, I think Minnie Bowden calls it a surf suit because, like, the shorts mm -hmm. are, like, kind of knee length and okay. stuff. So, yeah. Um, below, I guess, kids, <laughs> Hannah and Minnie Bowden Swim. So we'll just put that in a mailer. Looking for. I like these ones. Let's put some in here. I'll put some of these in here. <laughs> okay, we're good. All right. <laughs> All right, AT. Wild Fox. Wild Fox. I call this a swim dress. I don't know if that's what they designed it to be, but I think it's some kit to throw over a swimming suit. Just says I was made for sunny days. It's kind of like a sheer dress. Um, bought for five dollars retail arbitrage. Sold for twenty two on Poshmark. Nice. So a tie Some dealer. swim gear yeah. right up front. Yeah. It's that time of year for sure. I've been buying 
like I sold that of my friends. I just didn't really like it. The bottoms are a little bit too big on his waist, so. Yeah. Anyways, selling some of our old stuff, buying some new swim. Yeah. Yeah, you got swim listed up. Yeah, we got to go swimming yeah. more than <laughs> my body hurts. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, they're at Great Wolf, nothing's really like deep. Yeah. And they have like vests and stuff if you need them. So yeah. They finally are like brave enough to do the water slides and stuff by themselves. I even did some water slides and it was really fun, <laughs> but I'm like, man. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I wish I was like 15 again, you know? <laughs> it was more fun back then. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, sold this sweater. I didn't know this brand or anything. I just bought it based on, I think it was 100% wool. The brand is Etc. Mm. Sweater was $6.99. It was like in really good shape, like no pilling or anything like that. Sold it for $47.96 plus shipping. So it did take a little while, like longer than the 90 days I'd like, but that was a good margin. So I'm okay with that. Might have to rearrange it, but that should fit in a padded flat rate. Yeah. All right. A B Nike shirt. Are you sleepy? <laughs> Are you sleepy? We just got to go have a sleepover. Yeah, with two other puppies. <laughs> huh. Did you have fun with Kiwi and Riley? <laughs> oh. Stay there. <laughs> Wonder not here. <laughs> Wait, I'm making him sad. <laughs> All right, this is a Nike. It's just like a mock neck black golf shirt. I did pay $3.99 for it. Sold for 15 plus ships. So not a huge margin or not a huge profit, but some profit. And the day that I was buying this, I remember I had a whole cart full, so I was like, why not? Mm -hmm. Add in something else that's gonna make me, you know, nine, nine ten bucks. So yeah. We'll do a sun mailer. Okay, box Q. Oh, what? You want tummy rubs? What? <laughs> you spoiled. Oh, yeah. Spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a Duluth Trading Co. The, like, cargo shorts. I bought these for $4.55. That was my average cost of goods that day. Sold for $22.71 plus ship fairly quickly. And that's going in a padded flat rate. I guess I could have grabbed it. Ah, rude. I know. <laughs> okay, uh, DF. This is a viewer sale. Oh. New balance going out to Bobby Ann. She said she's also a reseller. Um, she said her puppies have been chewing on our little shoes. Oh, so no. She was happy to support us by buying a pair, and she hasn't found any in her size sourcing. So mm. thank you so much, Bobby Ann. She also said she incorporated some of our inventory ideas into her system. So. Awesome. Part of the yeah. hashtag banker, backs, banker, <laughs> banker backs. box mafia. Banker box mafia. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Kevin. He'll yeah. disown you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I had $10 into these, sold to Bobby Ann for $31.96 plus ship. So thank awesome. you so much. Awesome. Bobby Ann, thank you so much for that support. Yeah. And those, they probably could have fit in a padded flat rate. I priced them as a padded flat rate, but she lives in Texas. So it was only set four cents more to do a box, and I prefer to do a box for that price. Right. So we're doing a box. Okay. Thank you, Bobby. Ann. Yeah. Thanks again. Okay, box Z. Got some uh, men's Adidas golf shorts. Bought these in Utah for five. Sold for nineteen ninety six plus ship on eBay. eBay was good to me yesterday. Yeah. Or like the last couple days, really. Yeah, I wasn't sure what to expect because I haven't listed new in a while. Yeah, we've been so, we've been slacking as yeah, far as really slacking. work I mean, goes. I'm not too sad. I'm kind of like trying to get. <laughs> I've been trying to build it up, and now I'm like trying to build it down. Yeah. Kind of to keep around that thousand mark. We kind of got up to twelve hundred. Right now we're about down to eleven hundred. Yeah. We ran that twenty percent off sale for the last couple days. That did. I think that might have helped my mm -hmm. eBay sales. So. I don't know. I mean, running a sale always helps. I don't usually do that high of a one, so. Yeah. And we have been doing a, quite a bit of talking, just off, obviously off camera, <laughs> while we were at Grey Wolf Lodge, and, and you know, it's our 14, 14th wedding anniversary, so at that around that time, we always talk about stuff. So there's probably gonna be some changes coming up, <laughs> and just look forward to that. Nothing bad, I don't yeah. think, but, um, 
just changes. Change is good sometimes, right? <laughs> so keep, you know, keep a lookout for, there will be a video. <laughs> a little weird, weird teaser, I guess. Yes. <laughs> Super weird. <laughs> you just made it awkward. I know. <laughs> it's fine. It's not bad. I think it's good. Yeah. I think it's good for everyone. Yeah, so. yeah. Anyhow, I sold these Dr. Scholl sandals for 1996 plus ship. I had 3.99 into those. Sold on eBay, going out in a padded flat rate. I'll grab it. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, box C. Don't you even show me that, Tony. Don't even. Sold some Chico ZRJ pants. Uh, bought for $4.99. Sold for $16.76 plus ship. Again, not huge, but still making nine dollars or so off those. Let's do a floral variety. I like variety. Okay, eight E. What? Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, he's just rolling over. Yeah, so that he can get some tummy. <laughs> he's just being so funny right now. <laughs> Uh, so these little girl toms. So I normally pass on kid toms, but these were in like perfect condition. Um, they even have like the little where a tag was hanging from them, you know. So mm. plus I thought of these as Wizard of Oz. Yeah, that's so what I was gonna say, so, Wizard of Oz. Uh, that's kind of why I bought these, and they were only three ninety nine. So I knew I could make some money off of them. Sold for sixteen seventy six plus ship. So not huge money. Probably again nine dollars profit. Yeah. And I think that's still pretty good. Well, let me get this one sort of more kiddish, I guess, with the cute little smile. Red and pink, yeah. All right, so yeah, don't know if they're using them for Wizard of Oz shoes, but <laughs> that would be fun. All right, B.I. Okay. Some Roundtree and York men's pants, a bigger size, 52 by 32. Why I say that is because like this store that I bought all these at, it was a thrift shop, so they got them probably from the Dillard's discount, so mm. the Dillard's probably didn't sell them. Just donated, just donated them. them. Mm -hmm. And they had lots, in, in lots of sizes, but I grabbed the like really plus size ones. Um, I didn't grab like normal 30s by mm -hmm. whatever, because these are just- Because the brand. Just like yeah. a generic-ish brand pant anyways, so, yeah. but the plus size ones seem to sell well for me, so. Mm -hmm. Again, not huge money. I had three forty-four average cost of goods into them, sold for twenty on Posh. So right. I'm still making. I mean, twenty. Posh takes four dollars. Yeah. Over ten dollars, eleven, twelve dollars profit probably. So, not too bad. Let's do a mailing box. Notes. He just, he never lays like that. What is he even doing? Uh, he's waiting. <laughs> he doesn't ever just lay like that. He does when he sneaks up on the couch. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He'll always, we'll find him. Or like, like if that. he runs away and he's out <laughs> running around town for a couple hours, he comes home and he like lays all sprawled out. Like, yeah. <laughs> and last sale here is also viewer sale going out to Penny. Uh, Penny offered on these Tiva meals. These are from when Destiny and me did the swap box. All right. Um, so yeah, this, er, Penny offered 25 and I accepted. So thank you so much. Awesome. Penny, yeah, thank Destiny's you so much. Yeah, Destiny's box. You know, we didn't really, I've already made back what I had spent to send her a right. box. So everything right. was like profit at this point. So 25 bucks, very happy. Yeah. Hope you love the meals, Penny. Penny, thank you so, so much yeah. for that support. Um, push mark, let's do, do I have any more? Medium flat rate. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. <laughs> let's see, did I make any sales in the meantime? <laughs> no, we probably would have heard them. I've turned off my Facebook for like a week now, mostly because I'm just yeah. sick of the messages for the most part, and I still haven't cleared it up. Like went back to it's so hard to i haven't figured out a good way to check if i've deleted everything i want to delete right right because like as i'm scrolling if i don't have my phone i scroll if you make one mistake it sh shoots you back up to the top and it i already have so many items and it never takes away the ones you've sold so not only am i scrolling through my newly listed i'm scrolling through like every item i've ever put on facebook mm. so it's thousands of items probably yeah 
So yeah, I wish I could just delete everything that's unsold and just start over, because <laughs> that right. would be the best to me, honestly, at this point. But so I, I don't know. I haven't figured out a way to even do a mass delete. So if anyone knows, let us know. Because <laughs> I don't want to keep it off forever. I like Facebook. I don't make a. T- I guess I make a decent. Yeah, it's got its good I'm runs. On, so. Yeah. I'm still nervous about the non-customer service. Like they have really bad customer service and stuff. So I'd rather kind of wait it out. Mm-hmm. We're obviously making fine enough sales on all the other platforms, but right. I do keep in the back of my mind that Facebook probably might be the biggest platform one day and I don't want right. to, I want to have high feedback and everything at that time. So Yeah. And we know. definitely like to have our eggs spread amongst <laughs> yeah. different baskets, you know. So there was a recent big manning of a of a huge eBay seller everyone knows about. So if that happens, we would have a backup, right? Yeah. So or four, well, right? Or four. <laughs> we already have four. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, I do. I still like Facebook. Um, the things that annoy me most are the customer service and then just the yeah, the they constant have messaging. Even though I don't have offers on, people still just think they can make an offer. Right. Um, I just don't like when I get a message on my phone for any reason, any platform, whatever. It just like kind of takes me out of my work zone, and then I'm like, yeah, spend an hour like. <laughs> Probably ignoring the initial question <laughs> and then not doing anything else because I got distracted. You know what I mean? So, anyways. That adult ADD or ADHD. Yeah. <laughs> so. But it's weird, right? Like, us as resellers, we, we see the things that Facebook needs to do. It's, like, so obvious, right? Get better customer service. Yeah. Fix this. I'm happy to pay more fees. For a, another example, Mercari. Mercari, why don't you have four by six labels why don't you have that that would bundling option that it's like you could have that done in 10 minutes can you imagine a bundling option on a bundling option yes that would be that would make mercari so much better (laughs) (laughs) why don't they see this for so long like they'd make more money we'd make more money we'd want to put more items on yeah mercari is frustrating when people want even two items to try to make the bundle for them and stuff so. <laughs> it's easy for us to say this on the outside right like it's it be does, so easy it it's gotta be, be though like right it's gotta be easy right <laughs> uh, i mean honestly even ebay is kind of yeah i know people can bundle and you can send them an invoice that seems difficult though compared to posh it is in and stuff, oh yeah yeah where they can just add everything to their cart and check out so well we live in a time where our patients are so <laughs> low right yeah. like we need things now <laughs> so <laughs> another reason i just like multiple platforms i like something the best about each of them and if they could all just do yeah. all of those things and one would probably be enough <laughs> yeah. yeah yep we're gonna get this stuff packed up done, done <laughs> rambling for a few minutes. <laughs> done rambling <laughs> well we'll get stuff packed up and then we'll see where we're at from there all right guys got everything packed up so far so far it's about two o'clock a little after two what are you gonna do you're gonna photograph I'm try to photograph this whole rack of stuff before i have to get the kids or yeah you have to- one of us has to get the kids. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've got a yeah. video I'm going to be editing, finishing up. It was supposed to go out yesterday, but we just <laughs> didn't have time. <laughs> Oops. Because I think I referenced in that video, like, oh, yesterday's video, <laughs> which yesterday we didn't have a video. So. So, shoes are fast. I think I can, I mean, I think I can photograph two shoes per minute, so that shouldn't really take that long. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see. I, I hope to. Basically, we have an hour. Until we get to get so right. I think I can get that all done in an hour, but we'll check back in. Yeah, hopefully a couple more sales come in. Overall, I mean, this is a, a I good amount of sales. In like four or five days. Yeah. So we did this yesterday. We didn't film, but I sent out I think ten or eleven. Um, and then yeah. weekend, what sold was still a pretty good one too. I did send out. We mentioned a lot more offers because we were trying to. I was worried about the hospital bill, which we still don't even know what that right. is or whatnot. But yeah, yeah. so. Gotta love it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> sales are still coming in, even though we haven't listed. Obviously, we'd be making more probably if we did, but yeah, I'm happy that I put in some work before I right. didn't put in some work. <laughs> well, and you know, like you were saying earlier, you're you you'd be happy to get back down to the thousand yeah level anyway, I listing mean, level. I'm always like between the two. Like yeah. I'm like okay, I want to get to two thousand. Obviously, we can't. Really we don't have the space, in this right? Space unless it's small items, which I prefer shoes. So, mm-hmm. and honestly, if I was strictly shoes, which I don't know if I'll ever be, um, I'd probably only be able to fit what six hundred. Yeah, I've never really done the math. Right, I, I mean, could probably also, figure it out. Um, obviously, also depends if it's boots or mm-hmm. shoes or kids or men's or. Yeah, I feel like we'd have to change our whole inventory setup yeah. if we went to strictly shoes. 
because I don't know if the banker box they work well for some shoes. You can yeah, pack them in there pretty good. If it's larger men's sizes and boots, I would say mm -hmm. not really. <laughs> so right. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I. I just like selling everything though. Yeah. So. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Basically, uh, no new news. <laughs> Same old Ginger Marvin here. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll get this. I think we're gonna move this table over there. Yeah, I like that too. For her to photograph, and then we'll check back in, hopefully with some more sales, and it'll be about an hour from now. Yeah. All right, guys, look at all the shoes. You got all that stuff photographed on the floor. Yeah, but I wanted to get the whole rack. Oh so. well, then I, mean, I guess okay, you're so a those, horrible person because you didn't. All of those bottoms are just our kids and mine, like that. I'm ready to sell, so. Only didn't get all well, the hunter boots are too. So only three pairs I didn't. Yeah. Do. And the top boots are Doc Martens, and that's mainly because I can't. I can't 100% make up the size, so I need to. <laughs> a little uh, bit of work we got to do on them. Those like moccasin ones are really just hard to photograph. <laughs> they just keep going back on the rack. So. Oh yeah. No. Anyways, it's not that I didn't have time or anything. I just was like, whatever. <laughs> So I got all these done. That's I mean, look, start. that's impressive. That's impressive. Oh, no. oh, I didn't even turn my timer off. Thank you. I was trying to time myself. <laughs> but I've been done for a while now. Yeah. And I didn't turn my timer off. Let's see. Stopwatch. It's at an hour and 12 minutes, yeah. I would say. It probably under probably an hour. Maybe close to an hour. Yeah. I did more than I would sometimes do. Like, I did pick rocks out of some. Mm -hmm. And... There's a few that we hadn't got the numbers off, so we had to stop and do that. And then yeah. two sales came in, I had to stop and delist. And yep. So there was some distraction, but I guess yeah. good enough. I got <laughs> the video finished, uploaded. It's about ready to go, but yeah. Yep. I'm going to go to Taekwondo, back to yeah. normal. <laughs> <laughs> That reminds me, I gotta fill out their Taekwondo report cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we did have some more sales come in. Yeah, so two more sales came in. So box eight. Uh, I feel like the two sales actually came in like right yeah, after we I stopped they recording. Were, like almost. They came in also like right back to back. So I thought it was maybe one person buying two things, but it wasn't. Mm. So first thing was a pair of walk walkie walkie, walkie. <laughs> um, clogs, I guess. Those Lucky I have clogs. purchased for eight ninety nine, sold for thirty nine ninety six plus shipping. Nice. Yeah, those will fit in a paddle flat, right? And other thing is in BS. What was it? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, this pure gel, hundred percent linen, like cardigan, open front. Uh, bought for four fifty five, sold for twenty three ninety six. Push it. Sweet. And that's under a pound, so just a normal mailer on that one. Rainbow. No. Let's just floral. do ship and hip floral. Ship and hip floral. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that one. Yep. Wanted huh. now five different mailers I use. No six. <laughs> six. Six I different like, mailers. I like variety. Well, all right. All right. It's time to go now, cause. It's uh, <laughs> right 340. Oh, yeah. I got to gotta go pick up the kids from school, take this stuff to the post office, and then pretty much head to Taekwondo. And then Wednesday nights, I hang out with friends. I haven't actually got to hang out with them in like a month. So it's going to be nice to do all that, but it's a busy I'm evening. I'm actually so. excited to list. Cause yeah. Like, Kathy I hasn't listed. Hard, but I actually like listing and yeah. I don't necessarily like photographing, but I like sitting on the couch, putting a show I like yeah. or YouTube and just knocking out I feel like when it's we get when we get when we start to feel trapped like oh I have to do this at this time <laughs> or blah 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 right that's when it starts to feel not fun I, guess. I don't know Is, I so. <laughs> hope I'm sure many of you can relate but <laughs> anyway we do have to go guys thank you so much for the support thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one bye